My name is Amaka and you're welcome to the Zama Stitches. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make an illusion neckline dress for children. So if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our tutorials. So let's get started. Uh, this is my pattern paper. I'm going to now this part um, this part is going to be for the front panel while this part is going to be the back panel for the back panel now this is my starting point which is also going to serve as my shoulder line now from this point i'm going to take the waist i'm going to take my i'm going to start by taking my vertical measurement now the waist point the waist point is 13.5 inches And I have one inch seam allowance, which I'm going to use to join the lower part to the upper part. So this is one inch seam allowance. Thirteen point five inches, and I have one inch which I, one inch seam allowance. This is one inch seam allowance, which I'm going to use to join the lower part to the upper part. So I'm going to connect the lines. I'm going to connect the points. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take the neck measurements. So the neck width is 2.5 inches. And the neck depth is 3 inches. So I'm going to connect this point to this point with my curved ruler. Now the shoulder measurement is the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 12 inches. 12 divided by 2 gives you 6 inches plus half inch seam allowance gives you 6.5 inches. And this is 6.5 inches. This is 6.5 inches. Now, but because this dress is going to be a sleeveless dress, I'm not going to use that six. I'm going to because this is going to be a sleeveless dress, I'm going to minus 1.5 inches from 6.5 inches. And that gives you 5 inches. So I'm going to mark 5 inches. Now from this 5 inches, I'm going to come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slant. You know our shoulder is not entirely straight. So I'm coming down by 1 inch for my shoulder slant. And I'll connect this point to this point. Now, from this point, from this point, I'm going to impute the armhole measurement. The armhole measurement I'm working with is 13.5 inches. 13.5 divided by 2 gives you, gives you 6 3 quarter. So, I'm going to mark 6 3 quarter here. Six three quarter. So, I'll connect this point to this point with a straight line. I'm going to extend this point. Now take note, this is a chest point. Now on my chest point, I'm going to, on my chest point, I'm going to take my chest circumference on the chest point. 
I'm going to take my chest circumference on the chest point. Now the chest circumference I'm working with is 27 inches. 27 divided by 4. 27 divided by 4 gives you 6 3 quarter. So I'm going to mark 6 3 quarter here. So this is 6 3 quarter. Now take note, I'm adding all my seam allowances on my pattern paper so that when I'm when I'm cutting, I'll just I'll just transfer it on my fabric. I'm adding all my seam allowances on my pattern paper, but this is optional. You can decide not to add yours and add on your on your fabric, but I'm adding mine on my pattern paper. So I'm going to now I'm using 1.5, I'm using 2 inches. I'm using 2 inches seam allowance. I'm using 2 inches seam allowance. So plus 2 inches seam allowance. Now this is my seam allowance. So I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. So this is the midpoint of this line. This is the midpoint of this line. Now on this midpoint, I'm going to go in by half inch. Now because he's a child, I'm going in by half inch. If it's an adult, I would have gone in by three quarter inch inch. I would have gone in by three quarter inch, so I'm going in by half inch. Now I'm going to connect this point to this point with my curved ruler. And I'll connect this point to this point. Now let me label these lines. This is my waist point. This is my chest point. This is my chest point. On my waist point, I'm going to take my waist circumference on my waist point. The waist circumference I'm working with is 26 inches. 26 divided by 4 gives you 6.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 6.5 inches here. Plus 2 inches seam allowance gives you 8.5 inches. So the same thing I did here, I'm going to do here on the seam allowance. Most times when I'm sewing for children, I don't use that. Especially when the child is not curvy. But it's optional, you can use that if you want. But I'm not going to use that for this tutorial. And I'll connect the points. Now, because of the style of this dress, I'm going to I'm going to draw another neckline, which is going to be the illusion neckline. Now, I'm from this point, I'm going to mark five inches for my neckline. And I'll connect this point to this point. From this point, I'm going to come down by 2 inches. Now I'm going to connect this point to this point with my curved ruler. Just like this. So this is my sweetheart neckline. This is my sweetheart neckline. But if you don't want yours to be sweethearts, you can maintain this line. You can still maintain this line. 
Now that's it for the front panel. Now let's go over to the back panel. So this is the back panel. I've ruled. Now this line, this line is 1.5 inches. Now this is going to serve as my zipper allowance. 1.5 inches. So I have 1.5 inches zipper allowance here. This is this line is 1.5 inches. It's going to serve as my zipper allowance. Now from here. Now every measurement I'm taking is going to be away from this line. Now from this line, I'm going to mark. I'm going to mark 2.5 inches for my neck width, which is what I have here on the front panel. 2.5 inches for my neck width. Your front neck width and your back neck width should always be the same. 2.5 inches. Now the back neck depth is 1 inch. So I'm going to connect it. Now take note, my measurement, my measurement, I'm taking my measurement from this line, not from here, from this line. Now the shoulder measurement is, the shoulder measurement I used here is 5 inches. 5 inches because the sh the actual shoulder measurement is the actual shoulder measurement is 12 inches 12 divided by 2 gives you 6 inches plus half inch seam allowance gives you 6.5 inches minus 1.5 inch minus 1.5 inches because it's going to be a sleeveless dress i might i removed 1.5 inches and that gives you 5 inches So this is 5 inches. Now from those 5 inches, I'm going to come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slant. And I'll connect it to this point. And my the armhole, I'm going to impute the arm, my armhole measurement. Now the armhole measurement is the armhole measurement is 13.5 inches. 13.5 inches divided by 2 gives you 6 3 quarter. So I'm going to mark 6 3 quarter here. This is 6 3 quarter. So the next thing I'll do is to extend these lines. Now this, the waist point, the seam allowance, and the chest point, I'm going to extend them to the back panel. Remember how I got this line, this point? From this point to this point is 6 3 quarter. Now, this is my armhole measurement. While from this point, from my shoulder point to this point is my waist point, which is 13.5 inches, and this is 1 inch seam allowance. So, this shoulder measurement I have here, now this 5 inches I have here, this 5 inches I have here, I'm going to bring it down on this line. I'm going to mark 5 inches here. five inches and I'm going to connect this point to this point now before I impute my back armhole curve I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to take my my chest circumference now the chest circumference I'm working with is is 27 inches 27 divided by 4 gives you 6 3 quarter. So I'm going to mark 6 3 quarter here. So this is 6 3 quarter plus 2 inches seam allowance gives you 8 3 quarter. 
So the next thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do is to find the midpoint of this line. I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. So this is the midpoint of this line. Now I'm going to connect this point to this point, to this waist circumference. I'm going to connect this point to this point. You know, the difference between the front and the back is on the back panel, I didn't go in by half inch. I, I just brought it down. But on the front panel, I went in by half inch. So that's the difference. So now, I'm going to take the waist, I'm going to take the waist measurement on the waist point, on my waistline. So the waist circumference I'm working with is 26 inches. 26 divided by 4 gives you 6.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 6.5 inches. So this is 6.5 inches plus 2 inches seam allowance gives you 8.5 inches. Now the same thing, the same measurement I have here, I'm going to bring it down on the seam allowance. 6.5 inches and 8.5 inches. So I'm going to connect these points together. So this is my zipper allowance. So now I'm going to cut it. Now the back, the back is not going to have the back. I'm going to leave the back this way. The back, I'm not, there will be no net. There will be no lace on the back panel. So I'm going to leave it this way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to add my shoulder seam allowance. Don't forget to do that. I'm using half inch for my shoulder seam allowance. And I'll connect it. If you want the back panel to also have this yoke, all you need to do is to, all you need to do, if you also, all you need to do is to either draw another neckline, you can either use, you can either use 5 inches, the same measurement you use at the front, or if you want it to come deep, to go deeper, you can also use this point. It all depends on how you want your design to be. You can use this point and connect it to this point. Let me show you. Now you can either use your you can use your chest point if you want the back if you want the back yoke to go deeper. You can connect this point to this point just like this. You can either connect this point to this point just like this or you can draw another line. You can use 5 inches. This is 5 inches. You can use 5 inches. 5 inches neckline. And you connect this point to this point. And you cut it. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. The back. The style of this dress, the back doesn't have net or lace on it. So I'm not going to do that. So I'll cut it. Don't forget.
forget to extend this line so this is the front panel and this is the back panel now I'm going to cut this on fold. This is going to be on fold. Let me indicate that. On fold. This will be cut on fold. While this is while this is going to cut into two. I'm going to have two of this. Two of this. So this is the fabric I'll be working with. Now this is the main fabric. This is the net. This is the net or the lace which I'm going to use at the front and this is my lining now I'm going to start by cutting this I'm cutting this on fold so after cutting this this is what I have you see you see what I have now I'm going to cut this I'm going to cut this so now this is the front now this is the yoke now this I'm going to use this now this is no longer useful to me so I'm keeping it aside I'm going to use this to cut this fabric and the lining and I'll also use uh, I'm also going to cut the back I'm going to cut the back I'll cut this for the back panel, I'm going to cut this and the lining. Now, if you want your if you want if you want your net to get to the back, all you need to do is to use this one to cut your lace. After cutting your lace with this one, you now cut off this part and use here to cut your main fabric and the lining. But I'm not going to do that because this style, the net will not get to the back. The back will not have the net for this style. So that's just it. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. Now this is what I did. Now this is what I did. Now this is the front panel. This is the lining. I told you that I'll cut it on fold. This is the lining. This is the main fabric. And this is the lace. You see? Now this is for the front. Now for the back. This is a lining. I told you that the lining will be two. You see? And this is the main fabric. So the next thing I'm going to do. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to iron interfacing on my... I'm going to iron interfacing on my main fabric and the lining. Now on this. I'm going to iron interfacing on this and this and the back I'm also going to iron interfacing on the lining and on the main fabric so I'll do it and show you the outcome so I'm going to take this to my sewing after attaching interfacing on these two I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it now I'm going to sew it this way I'm going to start by sewing the neck I'll sew the neck with half inch seam allowance after sewing the neck with half inch seam allowance I'll push the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch then the same thing I'm going to do here I'm going to bring this and this I'm going to place it right side facing right side and I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it that is after after, after ironing interfacing on this I'm going to sew it with half inch seam allowance after sewing this part with half inch seam allowance I'm going to push the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch then I'll sew here with half inch seam allowance and I'll sew here with half inch seam allowance and I'll sew here with half inch seam allowance. Now, if you will observe now, now on my when I'm when when I'm drafting for children, I don't add that on my I don't use that for children. Why? Because the children are they are not curvy. Most children are they are not most children are not curvy. So I don't use that for children. Now, like this one I'm sewing, the girl is just slim. She's a slim girl. So I don't use that for children. But it's optional. You can, you, if you want to add that, 
you can use that but i don't use that for children especially when they are not curvy when they are slim they are not curvy i don't use that for them so i'm going to use half i'm going to sew this with half inch seam allowance after sewing with half inch seam allowance i'm going to push the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch after that i'll sew here i'll sew here and here with half inch seam allowance so i'm going to do the same thing here that is after ironing interfacing on my fabric then i'll show you the outcome then after that i'll show you the next thing to do so this is the front panel now i've not sewn the side now this is what i'll do i'm going to attach the net this is how i'll do it i'm going to place the net on the front panel just like this and the first thing i'm going to do when i take this to my sewing machine i'm going to sew these two separately i'll sew it i'll join these two together and i'll join here together then after joining them together i'm going to turn it right side facing right side and i'll place it this way and i'll sew i'll sew here with half inch seam allowance and i'll sew here with half inch seam allowance after sewing with half inch seam allowance then I'll turn it back. I'll turn it inside out. I'll turn it inside out. Now, after that, after sewing it that way, so now this is it. Now, this is the front panel. I've attached the lace to the, to the Ankara fabric. Now, this is it. This is the wrong side. And this is the right side. Now, this is what I did. This is the right side now for the back for the back now this is what i did after sewing the neckline after sewing the neck i notched after notching i pushed the seam allowance on the lining and top stitched and after that i had to sew here and sew here and sew here so now i'm going to show you how to fix in how to fix in the shoulder how to i'm going to show you how to fix the shoulder how to join the shoulder together how to join the shoulders together now but before i do that before i join the shoulders together i'm going to i'm going to pipe the neck and the sleeve and the armhole now this is how i'll do it so i'm going to keep this aside so i want to pipe my neckline now i'm going to use this part fabric for the piping so i'm going to fold it on bias now i folded it the first time I'm going to fold it again. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to mark four inches. Now it all depends on the length of the of the strips you want. I want to have a long group. So my my what I'm using is one inch for my piping. But you can use one and you can use one and a half inches. So I'm marking one inch. So I'll cut it. So you see what I have? So I'm going to use this to pipe the neck. Let me show you how I'll do it. Now I'm going to use this to pipe the neck. Now I'm going to, I'm going to sew it. I'm going to place it this way and sew it. I'll sew it round. I'll sew it. Now after sewing it, I'm going to turn it to the front. I'm going to turn it to the front and top stitch. You can also do it the other way around. You can you can do it the other way around. You can put it this way. You can put it this way and sew it. 
after sewing you turn it inside it all depends on how you want to do it so after doing this i'm also going to do the same thing here then let me show you how to let me show you how to fix your how to join the shoulders together now this is the shoulder now after piping the neck and the sleeve the armhole i'm going to place it this way now this is it i'm going to place it this way now this is right side and this is the right side so i'm going to put this inside here i'll put this inside here just like this and i'll pull it out from here Make sure you arrange it very well and after that i'll sew i'm going to sew it this way let me illustrate with pin so after sewing I'll now pull it out. Now, when I pull it out, you see what I, this is what I'm going to have. The seam allowance is going to be inside. The seam allowance is going to be inside. Now, this is how it's going to be. When you turn it, you're going to have something like this. So I'm going to do the other, I'm going to do the same thing on the other one. So I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. Now after that, after that, after joining the shoulder, I'm going to turn this this way and I'll sew here. I'll join here with one and a half inches seam allowance. Remember that on my pattern paper, I left two inches seam allowance, which I've sewn in half inch. I've sewn in half inch. I've used half inch to turn here. Now what is left is 1.5 inches seam allowance. So I'm going to sew here with 1.5 inches seam allowance and I'm going to do the same thing on this other one. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. So guys, so guys, this is the out outcome of it. Now I've, I've joined the shoulders together. You see, the seam allowance is inside. I've also hemmed, I've also piped the neck and the sleeve the armhole i've piped the neck and the armhole and i've joined the two i've joined the back panel and the front panel together so this is it now this is the right side this is the wrong side you see how the inside is this is the wrong side and this is the right side so that's just it i'm going to stop here <laughs> I'm going to stop here for today. I just want to show you how to make your illusion neckline for children. Now you can use this to now you can use this pattern to make a ball dress. You can use it to make a flay dress. You can also use it to make jumpsuit for your for children or fitted dress for children. Whatever you can use it to do anything. You can use this pattern to do anything. All you need to do is just to attach the lower part. If it's the flay, you want to, if if you want to use it for a flay dress. Just attach the flare. Attach the flare here. If it's jumpsuit, whatever. Pleated dress, ball dress, just attach the what the lower part and you're done. Then you attach your zipper. You're done. So that's just it with this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please click on the like button. Subscribe to my channel to support me. Subscription is free. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.